Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are taking a look at the Urban Fun Sport One bone conduction earphones or headphones. And yeah, so far these things are kind of cool. They're not what I expected, but I still like them. Let's talk about them and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. And the first thing up that I wanna mention is, is that these bone conduction headphones are not like other headphones. And the fact that they sit on the outside of your ear. So unlike typical earbuds that go in your ear, these are on the outside. And unlike other headphones that go over your ear, these sit on the outside. So part of that is means you're going to be able to get a decent amount of sound out of them as far as they're gonna be loud, but the problem is they're not always gonna have that full, rich, immersive sound that you get with in-ear uh, earbuds or over-the-ear headphones. Now, the next thing you should recognize about these earphones or these headphones is that if you are out listening to music with these and you have them turned all the way up, well, people are going to hear your music. That's right. There is a fair amount of bleed coming out of these and people are gonna hear your music. If they're up loud, people are not only going to know that you're listening to music, they're gonna know what music you're listening to and be able to sing along with you because there is a lot of bleed coming out of these earphones. Now these earphones, because of the way they sit on your head where they, uh, where they go over your ear, there's like a hoop in the back of your head that sort of, uh, they, where they just sort of sit there. It's sort of like a loop that doesn't sit real tight, real flush against your head. And I think they did that so that it can fit multiple size heads, but I really wish that there was a way that you can tighten that down so that it fits flush against your head so that if you're out and you're running or if you're cycling or doing something active where you don't want your uh you don't want these bouncing around that they won't because it'll be sitting flush on your head but right now as it is they fit very very loose and i would really like for there to be a way to get a more secure fit now, the last thing that I would like to mention that is sort of a plus and a minus or a good and a bad, and that is the, uh, the charging module, the little battery pack charging module. It plugs in, it has a USB-C port, which I think is fantastic. The problem is, is that it's one of these proprietary charging blocks that you need to have to charge the earphones. And when you put them on there, it connects magnetically and it's nice, however, it's proprietary. And that really bothers me because if for some reason you lose this thing, then you're sort of out of luck and you can't charge your earphones when they could just simply allow you to plug the USB-C uh, cable right in to the earphones themselves and charge up that way. That way you have something that's simple and universal and you don't ever have to worry about losing your, uh, your charging capabilities. So yeah, I just don't understand why people are making proprietary anything when everything can be universal. It just makes it so much simpler and easier to actually uh, maintain as a, as a consumer. So. Anyways, that's a problem that I have. That's a big problem for me. I wish everything was USB-C. I really want USB-C everything. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box with these. And then we'll get out of here and I'll tell you what I think about uh, the bottom line, what these things are, who they're for. But first, before we do any of that, let's actually go take a look at an unboxing and see what comes inside. All right, let's go ahead and see what comes in the box with these earphones. And we can see here, there's just not much branding right there. It says Urban Fun right there. Pretty plain box, which I'm pretty much just okay with. I like that, it works well for me. Um, it looks like they included a little bit of a, a, a thank you note. It says, especially for you, it says to see the world and a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower. So very nice sentiment, I like that. All right, put that over there. And then here is a one sheet telling you how to actually use 
the earbuds there so it's gonna show you what some of the different uh, settings are that you can do to set it up and for what you can do with music and calls and voice assistant. It's gonna tell you what some of the uh, lights mean with the charging device and all that there. So yeah, all right. And again, this is uh, this is a Kickstarter project, so it's ready to ship in, in the first quarter of 2022. So there's that. It looks like we're going to get a little pouch, which is very nice to keep these in. So I'm definitely digging that. And then, we have the earbuds and the charging case itself, or the charging module itself. So um, yeah, we'll set that off to the side. Here's the charging module. You can see there's like a little flat part on the bottom here and that's so that it can stand upright and you set that there. And then you just simply put these uh, just like this on there and you can see the little magnet sort of attached right away on there. And that is what it's gonna look like as you're charging up, so yeah. That's everything that comes in the uh, that comes in the package in the box, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's talk about it a little bit more and um, and just see more how these things perform and if they and who they might be best for. Actually, before we go ahead and talk more about these uh, these headphones, I just want to show you what the pairing process looks like. It's pretty simple. So once you have these off the charger, you may know that they start flashing green and red. There's little green and red lights on there that you may see start flashing. And once you see those flashing, all you really need to do is just go into the settings, uh, the Bluetooth settings of your phone and look for Sport One. So I'm gonna click that right there. And once it goes there, it's connected and you'll actually feel the earbuds vibrate a little bit, the headphones vibrate a little bit so that you know that you're connected. And that's it. Now you can go ahead and put them on and just start wearing them. You just go ahead, set them right around your ears, just like that. And now you're good to go and you can start listening to your music with the earphones. Okay, so we were able to see what comes inside the box there. And now mind you, this is a Kickstarter campaign. So I don't believe this is going to be the final retail packaging, but I really like the fact that they put a one sheet in there explaining actually how to use the device, what some of the lights mean as they blink differently. Um, I love the fact that they put that little, uh, that little wildflower in there as just sort of a nice gesture. So yeah, anyways, let's talk about who these earphones are for, and if I think they are uh, something that most people should get. And I'm gonna say, if you're somebody who likes earphones or headphones that are not in your ear, if you don't want something in your ear, and yet you don't want something that is over top of your ear that closes you off to the world, these could definitely be for you. Now, just keep in mind that you're not going to get that rich, immersive sound like you get with over-the-ear uh, over headphones or in-ear earbuds, but you're still gonna be able to listen to your music, listen to your podcast, listen to your audio books, and you're gonna be able to hear them clearly. You'll get a, they're gonna be loud enough, but you're also gonna have to contend with the fact that other people will be able to hear whatever it is you're listening to if you turn it up too loud. So there is that. Now, the other thing is, I think these are great for kids. Now, the reason why I say that is, is that I have a niece whose mother does not want her listening with in-ear earbuds. She does not want her listening with over-the-ear headphones that are gonna be too loud because she doesn't want her daughter's ears blown out at a young age or ever. And so I think something like this will work out really nicely for her because she can have her, her she can have her music playing, she can listen to her, her YouTube videos, or she can you know have the audio going when she's playing her video games. It'll all work for her, except it won't blow out her ears because they won't actually be in her ears or over top of her ears. So yeah. I think that's who it's going to be for. So anyways, there you have it. That is a look at the uh, the Urban Fun Sport One Bone Conduction Headphones. I think these are pretty cool. And again, this is a Kickstarter campaign. So I'm going to leave a link to them down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.